I'm going to show you the correct way to install ActiveSync now. First thing we need to do is click on Start and we're going to go to Programs. Usually in Accessories you have Windows Explorer. We're going to load that. Now let me mention before you install ActiveSync, before you plug your machine in, before you do anything else it's important that you disable any firewalls you have running that you uh, disable any virus software you have running or anything else that can interfere with an installation. The reason that's important and the reason it's important that you install ActiveSync before you plug your device into the computer is when you plug the cradle in uh, for your e-reader the first time if ActiveSync is not already installed, the computer thinks it's a USB device and can install a incorrect driver and then you will not be able to connect. <clears throat> so make sure that you uh, install ActiveSync before you plug your cradle in. Alright, so let me uh, go here to the correct folder. Now this is what you would see on your CD and we want software software for desktop computers and now we're going to double click here on ActiveSync 45 for Windows XP and now you will see the installation running we just need to click on next accept the terms and install You can see here where it's talking about updating USB drivers and this is what I was talking about. You don't want any drivers installed before you install ActiveSync. It can be quite a mess otherwise. Now if you use Vindo, uh, sorry, Vista or Windows uh, 7 it's an entirely different procedure you would have to install the Windows for Mobile Device Center. Okay, so what's happened now is that ActiveSync was finished installing and I have plugged in my uh, e-reader and you can see what happens when I do. You get this screen here come up. Uh, now most people are going to want to use the guest partnership because you're not really going to want to sync anything you just want to connect then I'm going to click on next and then this is the screen you'll get here and from here you can transfer files by using this this uh, selection here the explore selection uh, but we'll leave that for another video so that is how you install ActiveSync and I hope it uh, works well for you if it does not please send us an email Thank you very much.